happy Friday so today I wanted to do the aura nails um, these are in XXL coffin I will have the exact tips that I'm using linked down below and then that was the color I believe it said lady rose it's a really pretty pink so I'm just gonna show you guys how I did this set it was actually like so it was one of the easiest airbrush sets I've ever done and it just it looked so pretty and of course you can add more to it just like give it you know a different vibe or whatever but I wanted my first aura set to be kind of like simple but at the same time Valentine's -y. so I just added like one bling on the ring fingers and then I added some stars on the rest of the fingers and they turned out so cute i was just i was so obsessed with this set and they actually sold right away too so i was super super happy about that but anyway so i'm just going to show you guys um the polishing really quick and then when we get to the airbrush i will talk to you guys then <music> And this was the difference between one coat and three coats it is it's such a pretty color so pretty okay so when I airbrush I always use this little like ventilation system because uh, just like inhaling the acetone or the airbrush gels or whatever you're using it can get to be a lot like the first time the first few times that I airbrushed I didn't have this so I was like sneezing the next day I woke up so stuffy I had a headache like it was just all bad and when I first started airbrushing I was airbrushing like an insane amount of sets like everybody wanted airbrush ombres so I was doing those and I was doing like triple ombres and four color ombres if you look back in some of my videos I did record some of those as well um, and they are so fun you just I highly recommend a ventilation system so I wanted to show you guys really quick changing out this little like the pad um, I haven't changed it in a while so I decided to just change it while I do this video since I'm gonna be back into airbrushing again it's super easy I will link everything down below um, that I am using in this video so that you guys can purchase as well if you want and yeah I basically just put that little piece in there and then I am good to airbrush I as you can see it's like super dirty because I always spill my solution or whatever my polish I, I always spill it never fails so I'm just gonna put some paper down just to kind of protect it a little more and make it look a little bit nicer while I show you guys how I airbrush and then the airbrush that I use that I've always used is the eye gel beauty one but I changed the top like the nozzle part I ordered that um, separately on Amazon and then I changed that and I have had zero issues with it I absolutely love it um, it's perfect for ombres but if you want to do like stencils and stuff I I actually ordered a different nozzle with three different needles so I have a video coming up with that because honestly I have not opened it and I have no idea how to use it and I do have a lot of people asking about like stencils and stuff and I really want to get into airbrushing with stencils so I did order those I, ha I will have a video coming I am going to attempt it I'm really nervous so that's why I haven't really attempted it yet I'm just super comfortable with ombres and stuff but it's time to get out of our comfort zone so this looks really aggressive but I was not I was not stirring it that hard um, so basically I don't have a ratio I always get asked if there's a ratio it's kind of just your judgment when it comes to gel polish and acetone um, and I just mix them if it looks it looks good it looks good so every time I use my airbrush I fill it like maybe a, a fourth of the way with acetone and I just spray it to clear out anything that might be stuck and just make sure that it has a good flow and then I will pour in my solution and then I always test my solution first just to make sure that I like the color um, it is easy if I didn't like if 
it was too thick, then I could always add a little bit more acetone into that top little piece, or I could add a little bit of polish into the top piece as well if it was too thin. So I am liking it. I believe I did like three coats. We're gonna watch right here. I just started with one of the pinkies because I'm doing the a size small medium so in case I didn't like it or I didn't like the color I always just go with like the easiest nail which is a pinky and then I could replace it if I had to if I didn't like it but I did like it I ended up doing about three coats and yeah you basically just point the airbrush towards the middle and right here I was kind of doing more of like a side to side motion but then when I moved to doing like all the other nails I did more of a circular motion and I really liked that just a little bit more just because it like it really stayed right in the center which you'll see <laughs> if you wanted it to be like super subtle you could leave it just like that and just do the one coat which I think I'm gonna try on the next set that I do because looking at it like from afar right here it looks so good like I don't know when I was doing the actual ombre I couldn't really tell if you could see that light pink or not but yeah you can see it <laughs> and it looks really good but I just I still stuck with my three coats because that's what I did on the other pinky and I want everything to match so that is all I did it looks so pretty and I don't, it was so easy so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the other um, nails and just how quick the process was and if you guys are thinking about getting an airbrush I 100% recommend to get an airbrush I like the airbrush has saved my life like <laughs> when I do ombres they they do not take me that long when I first started doing I like used the sponge method and that it works it just took me so long like hours and as you can see like a little goes a long way with the airbrush like one coat and you can already see all of that it's so quick the airbrush is just amazing so I'm definitely gonna be doing more updated airbrush videos just to teach you guys because I too was very scared of the airbrush and very scared of the ombre and very scared of just like cleaning the airbrush in general I hear that a lot like people are afraid to clean it or they think it's gonna be too much I promise you it takes like two minutes at the end of every session as long as you clean it every single time it's not gonna get clogged so yeah Anyways, this is how quick this is, and then um, after this, I'm going to show you guys the bling that I did, and then the little stars that I hand painted really quick, and that is it. Like, such an easy set, so simple, and just so pretty. <laughs> playing around with the placement and I wasn't sure if I wanted the heart to be like a little bit sideways or like straight dead on I don't I was just like playing with it but I decided to just put it straight just because um, but looking at it <laughs> it did look really cute sideways so definitely gonna be doing another set with these hearts and doing some like sideways designs it's super cute and just fun um, but yeah so now I'm just gonna get into the stars really quick and that's literally it all you do after that is top coat buff file and box so I will show you what they look like the final product and how they looked boxed they're so pretty <laughs>
gonna top coat where the gem is or the charm and just make sure to seal in all of the gaps as best I can so that way the charm doesn't get caught in hair or anything like that. Um, but that's it. I am going to box these afterwards, show you guys what they look like. They are so pretty. Um, I can't stop saying it because I've been wanting to make the RNLs nails for so long now. But anyways, I just added them to my Instagram, posted that they were ready to ship and available, and they were sold the same night. So it's super exciting when that happens. Um, but yeah, if you guys learned anything from this video, if you're excited about more airbrush videos, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and yeah, thanks guys. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,